Welcome back guys. Here we are in Bickety's Hollow. Just watching the trains go by. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. Let's have a bit of, do a bit of train watching while I tell you about something. Um, what are we, uh, first of all, what are we going to do in this episode? We're going to be doing um, bits of all kinds of things. I normally spend like a few hours like preparing and planning and doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, but this time I thought, yeah, we'll kind of wing it and do kind of some different things. We're going to, I, I want to put some um, bus lines in, some coach lines between the cities. Uh, I'm going to do some naming. Uh, we'll probably do a bit of sky candy. Um, and who knows what else we'll do. But I want to tell you about this. Um, the guys at Transport Fever, the developers, sent me this email uh, a few days ago. And they said, this guy, uh, I write you regarding your current Transport Fever Let's Play series. We in the office are big fans of your joyful videos and play style. There is so much attention to detail. It's nice of them to notice. And then they said, we are aware that the game still needs optimization in regards of late game performance. However, we sometimes observe issues which are unexpected. For example, as seen in your video, uh, episode 70, uh, shortly after 41 minutes. And uh, will, you, uh, will you send us uh, a save file so that we can, uh, so that we can investigate it? So um, I sent them the, the save file um, and they, they sent it back to me. Uh, sorry, well, they, they, they replied, sent me an email back saying, uh, oh, you know, thanks very much for that. And uh, as a reward, um, uh, we'll send you some, um, some keys for a giveaway. Uh, some free keys for uh, Transport Fever. So, um, I will be giving those away over the next few days to my patrons. Because I give all my free stuff to my patrons. So, um, so that's awesome. But the main thing, like the most important thing is, how freaking awesome is that? Them being proactive. Like, I mean, first of all, the fact that they actually watch the videos and like watch them, like obviously all the way through and stuff. And... Um, and for them to just write to me and say, hey, we, we spotted the fact that the game was lagging. Send us your sale fire because we want to improve the game. Oh, my God, that's what I want to hear. That's what I love. So there you go. That's that. Right, let's move on. Uh, what are we going to do next? Let's pause. Let's pause so that we're, so, so that we're not lagging on the subject of lag. Uh, what are we going to do first? Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is a little bit of naming. Now, back up in the hills above Troy and Beringham is Clay Cross. And this, I, I, I wanted to give this one to someone special. And Krista, Krista has been waiting patiently for ages for me to, uh, to name a train after her. So now this town, look at this, right? I want to do something special up here. And I, I've, I've no idea what it's going to be yet, right? But it's going to be something, I don't know, something special. So. Krista, you're getting your town. I'm, I, now, I'm probably not going to do much with... Well, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this. Because, like I said, I am quite decided exactly what I'm going to do. But, um, Krista... Now, what's it going to be? Is it going to be Krista? Krista on the hill. Krista on the hill. Krista on the hill. Now, Krista, if you want it changed... Because I know you only asked for a train, but you've got a town. I'll give you a train as well, actually. Thinking about it. I'm going to give you a train as well. Uh, let's give you a train as well. So let's put you um, let's put you on here as well. So this is going to be the Krista. There we go, Krista. And I'm sorry that took so long. There you go. Boom, done. Um, now I want two towns that are kind of close together, and these two will do. These two will do. We are going to have um, twin towns. This one, and this is um, this is a bit of an apology. Uh, these are going to be the Van Towns. This is going to be Van Bagham. And as an apology to Wendy, Wendy Van Bagham, because I got her confused with another Wendy. And uh, yeah, so Wendy, I'm really sorry that I got you confused with somebody else. And there you go. You're in as a town. She wanted a train. You've got a town. You've got a train as well, the Dotting Diva. Actually, you've got the Dotting Diva in the American series. Yeah, hang on a second. Yeah, what train is that? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I want a I want a Halo passenger train if I can find one. Where's a Halo passenger train? Oh, that do. That's a Skystormer. Yeah, uh, Halo Trans Two. You could be on the same line with me. How about that? We can we can run around the track together. Let's have train twenty six. And this this is going to be named after her cats. Now I have already put this in the USA series. So I'm not going to explain it. This is called the Dotting Diva. 
after her two cats, Dottie and Diva. There we go, the Dottie and Diva is in. Uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to do, this is for Victor. Now, um, he, he, he's one of my fairly new patrons. Um, you know, I said, I said Wendy was a new patron. She's been a patron for like nine months. <laughs> That's why I confused her with some, uh, somebody else. Uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, anyway, uh, Victor wrote to me. Um, he had a close friend who, um, who sadly passed away recently. Um, he was only 15. How about that? Um, and his name, his name was Person. So he wanted it called The Person Express. I don't know his first name. Victor didn't tell me. So I see, well, I assume that's his, his surname. Anyway, there you go. The Person Express goes in. Uh, what else? Oh, now I said this was going to be Twin Towns. This is, the, this is Van Bagham over here. And then here, well, no, not there. Over here, Tottenham Neal. I'm so glad I'm getting Tottenham Kneeling out of it. Such a mouthful. And I'm replacing it with another van, uh, mouthful because this is going to be called Van Rijn. After your own Van Rijn. So there you go. Here's another one of my uh, long-term patrons. There you go. So we've got uh, Van Rijn and Van Rijn. Uh, and Van Bagham. And I'm going to be doing some work on them. And you know what? We'll we'll start on them. Actually, we won't start on them because that needs some attention. I was going to throw in like a quick tram route around them but no i i want to play around i want to spend some time building this into the hillside and stuff what about van bagham now ah, see now van bagham's nice and flat we could definitely do with some something with uh, with van bagham maybe um I, t I tell you what we could do like straight away dead easy tram track no this is going to be buses this is going to be buses we're going to have our first intercity buses so uh what do i want to do i want to upgrade this road Oh, is that? Oh, that's already that's already a large country. Oh, I didn't realise that was already a large country. Right? Why don't I extend that a little bit so that so that it seems like I wasn't completely wasting my time? And a little bit more at that end. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I want to put in <clears throat> like a like a like a proper bus station. So let's have a let's have a bus station in the middle of the town or something. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, bus and tram station medium. That's the large one. I think maybe maybe a medium one. They do look good. These they really do look good. Now I wonder if we could kind of squeeze it in there without knocking too many buildings down. I don't want to knock all of those down if I can avoid it. I mean, if I have to, I will. But it's going to have to go on that corner. Five buildings, million it's going to cost. Well, just eke it round just a little bit, would you go in? Without, no, it won't. Okay, there it goes. So we have that in there. Then I'm going to want to upgrade this road and have bus lanes. Oh, yeah. That's not what I want. Uh, what do I want? I want, uh, I want roads. See, I'm all over the place. I told you. I told you it was going to be that kind of episode. Right, let's grab uh, the upgrade. Bus lanes. Yes, I want bus lanes. So now we'll have bus lanes and a nice large road going out as far as there. Excellent. Now what we need to do is put something in at the other end. So I think we'll do like the first route. This is just going to be a backwards and forwards route, but the, the main route that I'm going to work on is going to be like the, the halo, the mega halo bus route, which should be fairly, fairly cool. I think, let's see. If I could slot it in there, that would be kind of perfect. Let's see. Let's see if we can fit it in there. This is going to be a tight squeeze. Do we? Um, oh, we, we, we might. I'd love to get it on that corner there. Now, terrain alignment. Oh, it's not, it's not quite going to fit, are you? Oh, come on, please. Please go in. No. It would go in there. I think it's going to have to go in there. Oh, well, I might get it if I move it out there. See, I can just about squeeze it in there. Well, that's where it's going to have to go. Is that close enough to the railway station? I think it just about is, you know. It is. It's close enough to the railway station. Perfect. Awesome source. Right, let's have a bit of a, let's have a, bit of a line there. Now, have we got a depot? Let me turn my depots on. We got a, we got a bus step. We got a, got my, got, oh, that's a tram and a, and a road. We need one on this side. So 
Let's have the depot. Let's have the depot just outside of town. Uh, bum, 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 bum. The music in this game is so kind of catchy. It really gets in your head. So where's the where's the junction? Ah, there. Cha Ching. Alrighty. Let's get a uh, new line. New line. This. I don't know what, what color I'm going to do my bus routes. Color. I, I, I might use yellow. So this is going to run uh, whoops, from there to over here. Boom. I'm going to have to get some of the... There, there are some different bus mods. Uh, I'm going to have to get some of those. Yeah, bum, 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 that's all I need. Right, yeah, let's get the... Let's get these on there. So, I think we'll go with the Volvo 5000s. This is 62 miles an hour, capacity 18. Yeah, let's go with the Volvo 5000s. Okay, so we want... What do we want? I'm thinking... Mm, somewhere between 6 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Well, let's go seven then. <laughs> That's between six and eight, isn't it? That was kind of easy, Sky. Uh, okay, line 17, these should be going on. Set line 17, boom. Now, I haven't seen these Volvos close up. So let's have a little look at these Volvos. Here we go. Let's have a little ride on a Volvo. But there are some nice ones, and, and, and I am going to be putting in some new, uh, some other new models for uh, like the. Um, well, I can't remember. I can't pronounce the name, but it's a it's a different type of tram that we're going to be putting in, which is very cool and very sexy. These are nice. These little bus stations, aren't they? Let me get some nice trams going in. I tell you, I did have a really nice idea the other day, which was, um, you know, you know, what I was doing in City Skylines. I, I started a building Zurich series, which, which I still haven't chance to, uh, had a chance to go back to because I still haven't finished building London yet. Um, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do the Zurich transport system in in this? It would be, oh, freaking awesome! Um, especially since the headquarters for these guys is in um, Schaffhausen, which is very, very close to Zurich. I thought that would be just brilliant. I'd love to do that. OK, so we've got the first of our intercity buses. We're going to be doing lots more of that. Right, so that's that. Um, I kind of wanted to like do a first one. I, I don't know how much more I'm going to do kind of with you guys. I might do it like a time lapse or something to get loads of the rest in, because it's going to be it's going to be playing with where is it? It's going to be... See, I've got to put a road in that goes from, like, here along... No, no, here it is. Here it is. I thought it was. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be coming along this road and then into town or whatever. But we're probably... I, you know, I mean... Do we need an inside and an outside halo route to, uh, to get the coverage? I don't know. That's going to be an interesting question. That's something I am going to have to spend some time thinking about. But, like, this is a perfect example of the the way it's supposed to work um we got let's best turn bus stops uh on right so we've got a bus stop there it's actually a tram stop but that would work and then we've got this this really nice great big road going all the way over to the train station here and it's just providing an alternative means of transport so let's let's do it Let's do it. Let's put one more in. So, road. Uh, what do I want? I want... Um, the first thing I want is a bus stop. I'm get, uh, this, this one we're going to do with bus stops. So, let's put in a bus stop. Just outside. There. And then we want... Uh, pause. We want another new line. So, let's grab a new line. Uh, no. Well, I, yeah, is there a depot in here? There's a depot... No, nope, that's a train depot, that's no use. No, there's no depot around here either. Okay, well, let's put one... Mm, let's put one kind of out here. It's far enough out. There we go, that'll do. Let's get a new line going. New line. This one, 
is also going to be yellow. And this is, I think this is going to be the first part of the Mega Halo. So maybe this is, so what is it? This is going to be Road Passenger. And this is going to be Mega Halo Bus. Um, I need, guys, I need a name. I need some kind of catchy name for the Mega Halo Bus route. What's it, you guys have come up with something. Come up with something cool. Whoever gets the coolest gets a shout out. So there you go. Right, um, so what do I want? I want to add that. Oh, try that again, Sky. Uh, I want to add that station, and then I want to whisk over here and put, and we'll just have it going backwards and forwards between these two for now. So there. Cool. Actually, no. Rather than use that stop, which is the trams are using, I'm going to put another stop in. Yes, that's a much better idea. So let's put another stop on this side over here. And this is going to be the one the buses use. Ha ha ha! That'll be way better. Yeah, and they're going to go around there, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I may end up putting like a proper bus depot in. God knows where I'd put it though, because we've got two freight depots in there at the moment. I have no idea where, how you could squeeze in a bus station. But no, that'll do. That'll do. So um, that's the that's the route. All we need to do is get some vehicles on it. So where did I put that depot? There it is. Okay, let's get, let's get out of you and buy ride vehicles. Now, how many vehicles are we going to want on? It's a fair way. I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know, maybe like eight. Because it's only meant to complement the Mega Halo. It's not meant to, like to take over from it. So let's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. And we want to set you online. RP, where are you? Oh, RP Mega Halo. There we go. Boom, boom. Right, let's have a little look at this. Now this should be quite cool, in actual fact. Um, this is an area where I still need to do a lot of work, but there is actually quite a lot going on. So, I want to, yeah, let, let's, yeah, let's grab, yeah, let's grab this one. Let's grab this bus, because, oh, that's the one I was already finding, cool. Because what I want to do is kind of have a look. Should we go first person? Because we've seen the bus. Yeah, let's go first person. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's the town. That's the, that's the city. Look at all the people. Oh God! Please, please, improve the performance. If they if they fix the performance, oh man, what a game! So they, it's going to go down here. Oh, and then it's a, a quick flip around because he hasn't got a proper turnaround. And then it's back down here. So we go back down this road, and then we're going to go out into like the open road. And I, I kind of want to see the transition. So. We, we start off in amongst the skyscrapers and then, you know, a little troll out here. The buildings get smaller. We're getting out to the suburbs. Yeah, a few, a few commercial shops. But oh, there's the next city out in the distance. See, now... This is one of those lags, I think, that is exactly what that email was talking about. It could have been a year end, though, because you can't tell. Could have been a year end. But this is, see, this is what I like. Now, we do need, I think we need some, some few more trees around the place to kind of liven things up a little bit. But being alongside the railway, so that you can see the railways, so you've got the trains going over on the bridge. But you see, like, this bit of terrain needs some smoothing out. definitely need a few trees and stuff around the place just to kind of make things a little bit more interesting oh there's a cargo train I'm kind of hoping to see a dual stocks fly by oh another little lag see those it's those little lag spikes if I could get rid of those personally I think it's got something to do uh, well I don't know I'm only guessing so no I don't know <laughs> I don't know I'm just guessing 
See, these, these buildings here need to be more... I need to put some other buildings in there and make it a bit more interesting. Maybe put in a, a, a truck stop now and again. Oh, I tell you what we could do. There's, um, there's a mod for a McDonald's and there's a mod for an Ikea. And I could do, I could do a, like a little truck stop with a McDonald's and then um, the, the big parking and put some trucks in and whatever and stuff like that. That would be quite cool. And then we're into the next town and that bit of road needs smoothing out, that's for damn sure. And same thing, we come in and then suddenly you're among the skyscrapers. There's the tram depot. There's one of the trams flying by. Okay, you know what, that's enough of that. Right, talking of trams. Ooh, we've got a load of trains that need to be replaced. Uh, let's get rid of all of those. Talking of trams, we're uh, we're going to go and put uh, a different type of tram in a new a new mod. Okay, we're going to get we're going to do this over in uh, in somewhere else in Gangu because this is um because this is a nice route and I, I want to see the trams and I want I want to ride them through here like any excuse to ride through here. I I love this I love this. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab uh, a Gangu one train and a Gangu two train. And then we're going to replace at 25% with the Citadis 302. These are, I mean, the Cobras are really nice, but these, well, they're like ultra modern. Love them. Um, but I am, I don't really like this color, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply a bit of Skystorm Blue to them. And I'll show you the difference, um, but I wanna put them all on with this color to save me some time rather than doing them individually. So, yeah, yeah, since this, that, okay. Cool, and same with this one. At 25%, set vehicle, sit to this, uh, color, uh, blue, okay. Yes, 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 okay, done. Right, let's do it. Now, what I want is to ride a train, uh, or a tram, rather, from, like, somewhere over, oh, this one would do. This one would do. Right, let's pop that over there. <laughs> and let's have a, a good old zoom in over here. Something something like that would do. Oh. The, the, the problem with these trams is you've got to kind of be like that far away. I'd like to be closer. But it should position on the on the on the front of the tram rather than in the middle. Anyway, shut up, Sky. Just let it run. We want to see it. So this is gonna run, come around the corner, and I think there's a stop kind of just after the corner, and it should transform into the Citadis. We'll be around kind of like that, don't we? Oh, here we go, and boom! Oh, look how nice that is! Oh, and another one there, perfect timing. Isn't that? Good? Have I got the things turned? I, yeah, I've got the turn turned off oh those aren't they sleek and beautiful and awesome now let me show you the difference in the color if I make this one uh, let's see if I change this one back to uh, like no color look at that god that's I don't I really don't like that green that is so dull but um, yeah a little bit a little bit of skystorm blue and suddenly they look very, very nice indeed. You gonna change? Yes! That was perfect timing. Let's, uh, let's change our angle, reduce the lag a little bit. Look at the fields, don't the fields look good in the distance on the farms? This whole area looks quite, quite nice. Still needs a lot more work though. Still needs a lot more work. Now, hang on, we're coming, we're, you know what, pause. Because we're coming out to this now. I want to show you this, like before we go through. So the tram, the tram's going to come like over the bridge and then, and then through this area. And it's, I mean, it's really interesting with the bridge and like all the rest of it. But it's kind of just, I don't know, it's missing like something. So let's let's do something. I want to keep it kind of sharply angled like this. But I want to put, um, I want to put a, f a few trees up here, and. I don't know. I might even I might even mess around with some other stuff, but I definitely want to put some trees. I want just the broad leaves, I think. And let's get some uh, 
Let's get some broadleaf trees up here. I just want a kind of a, a little wood over. <laughs> Stop it! Uh, just kind of along this area. Yeah, so much better, so much better. Awesome. Let's put uh, just a. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. But you know, I mean, well, you've seen how long it's taken me to just do that. I mean, I need to do this like all over and stuff. It's gonna take a little while. Um. Oh, I want to put some some. No, well, I, let's, let's see if we can't put a few. Uh, I want to get, there we go. I wanted to get the discoloration. And, um, let's see if we can get a, one of the larger bushes up there. Another cluster. There we go, that'll do. And yeah, I mean, like, yeah, as I say, you, you can spend considerable time just decorating this stuff. Uh, where, where will you go? Will you go somewhere? Yeah, there we go. And that gives us the the terrain discoloration that we want. And yeah, put a few along there. Let's put a bush there, and there we go. And then we'd obviously want to kind of do some stuff around here. And then I don't know. I mean, do we? Do we have a, a like a small wood here or something? I think we probably maybe just some light trees, just to kind of finish it off. 
yeah, broad leaves. So just a just a light kind of smattering of trees. Not, not like not like a dense forest. Have a little bit of density in there. Maybe a little, little cops over there, and then a few small bushes around as well, just to give us some discoloration. There we go. But you know, like I've just done, I've just done that part, right? We've got all of this to do. So much to do. So much to do. Go. I've got to do this bit, guy. I'm sorry, but I've got to do this bit. Um, I actually, I, you know what? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to come back to that because I actually want to pick out some individual trees. I want specific trees around the back of here. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, I need to just get this. There we go. Yeah, way better. <laughs> oh, you see, once I start playing, I could do this for freaking hours. I love doing stuff like that. But that, that's just doing that little bit there. Just that little bit there. God. Anyway, let's go back to riding on the tram, because the whole point was to ride the tram down and, you, and then look at it and go, ooh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? That was the, that was the general idea. Uh, where, was the, where was the tram that I was following? I thought it was coming down here. Yeah, no, apparently, where's the next tram? Oh it's, oh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it was on this corner. Yeah, there we go. Tram 19. Why, like, why didn't I just click on that in the first place? Okay, well, you know what? I think, um, because we've seen the tram. Gorgeous, aren't they? We will be seeing more of these. So, I want to go first person and have a little look. So, here we go. We come along here. This is the little wood that we put in. So, the train tracks disappear off to our right behind the woods. And then suddenly, oh, we got the bridge, we got the train, the railway bridge, we got the train going underneath, we got that nice big wood on our left hand side, we've got all the trams going backwards and forwards under here in this completely pointless but complicated junction. And then we see the airport, and then we've got this going on. And I kind of want the, 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 this centre, like down here, and these banks to be quite bare, because in real life they are quite bare. They, they tend to keep them clear. But then we've got that depot that we've just put in. And then we've got, oh, we've got the stacks of stuff. Don't run people over. Oh, and there's our trucks and things. And our extra buildings. Which I definitely like. I like that a lot. And then we've got, uh, oh, pause, because the one thing I didn't do, one thing I completely forgot to do, was um, was put some trucks on here. I'm just going to put like a couple of trucks, like two, like seriously, I'm going to put two in, I'm not going to put any more than two in, I promise, I think. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh, I, do, I do like that, where was that one that I really liked? Yeah. You know what, let's, let, let's have one of these, uh, blue one. Green. Yeah. Yeah, red one. Yeah, red one. I like a red one. So let's flip you around to line up with there. Let's pop one of those in and I don't know. More of like Yeah. You know, if we go for the truck and trailer and make it, I don't know, like a different like blue. I might pop that over there. But we need, I, I do need some, as much as I love these Volvos, we do need some different vehicles. Yep, definitely need some different vehicles. Anyway, let's get back, let's get back on our tram and uh, and finish off our little journey. Oh, look, oh, look, there's some trucks over there. <laughs> that was all that was for. That was all that was for, so I could go, oh, look, there's some trucks over there. Oh, yay, yay. All righty, well, there you go. I don't think we're, oh look at that look at that going by now that reminds me of the next thing we're going to look at we're going to look at a new train model and the new train model is the Statler Flirt 
which is uh, which is pretty damn cool actually. Now, um, I haven't decided where I'm going to do this yet. So now I was thinking about like on the mini Halo actually. Um, now let's see what's the um, that carries 122 people. Uh, that's mini. Yeah, that's mini Halo two. Where's mini Halo one? Uh, that'll be mini Halo one, won't it? Yeah. There we go. So I was thinking, maybe we use um, we use stack the flirts on the mini Halo. Now, if we go down here, the stack the flirt. Where are we? It's right down the bottom. It's right the last. like the last. Thing. Here we go. Now this this is the uh, the MTR Express. This carries uh, 125 people. It's got a top speed of 124, so it's quite quick. Uh, but then there's this one, which is the the NSB version two, which carries 225 passengers. Same speed. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking, maybe some of these. What do you think? Put some of these on the mini Halo. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. So, we're going to add these. Now, let's get rid of that. And uh, capacity-wise, these will be just about right for the mini Halo at the moment. Um, because these, these, these single jewel stocks are just about right. So, let's put in those. 25%, yes. Do I want to change... The color of these? No, I'm going to go with the. I'm going to go with the stock color. Yeah, I'm going to go with the stock. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oops, let's try that again. Um, so that's going to be that, and then this one, same thing. 25% uh, set vehicle, all the way down to the bottom, and the MTR Express. Add, get rid of the dual stocks, and go. Right, you're just about to pull into the station. Oh, both of them pull it into the station. And we get a couple of Statler Flirts. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a ride with you for sure. Let's have a look at this little puppy. Oh, you know what? I, I should have been looking at it this way with the, with the new... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. With this... That looks... That does look quite good, doesn't it? I'm lining this up for a thumbnail. Um, it's a shame it's got the blooming catenaries in the way. Ooh, how about something something like that for a thumbnail, maybe? Oh, I'm trying to get the yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I think that's going to be a thumbnail for sure. All right, uh, let's jump. Uh, let's jump on the board with well, which way do we want to go? I don't suppose it really makes any. You know what? Well, let's go over that. We'll go under that bridge over there. So let's jump on board with you. Then you'll train 92. And jump on board and away we go. What do you mean waiting for a free path? Really? If you're waiting for a free path, I need to put more signals in. Really? Hang on a second. Let's, let's just actually have a look at this because that's... There's a, I mean, there's a signal there. Why can't you pull up to that signal? Well, you can't go beyond it. Fine. But what the hell are you waiting for? That's uh, kind of crazy. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Well, where's the next train? There isn't a train for until there. Okay, that's just about to pull out of there. Are you going to move now? Okay, if somebody wants to explain that one to me, because that didn't make any sense at all to me. Let's get rid of Oh, the noise of these things. Let's see if it gets up to speed. This is a fairly short run though. Oh, under the bridge. Oh, I should have been like first person or whatever for that. The lag is such a shame though, because like when you're watching them like this and it's not lagging, they're so beautiful. And then you get that little bit of lag and it does kind of, it's like, nah. I have no idea why that was waiting. Come on, you should be changing. Uh, maybe it's up updated recently. Let's have a look. That's 30 years old. Oh, there we go. Thank you. About freaking time, too. 
Oh, I love the sound effects on these things. Oh, we've got to put more of these in. Oh, you know what we're going to do, guys? Pause. Because we're going to have we're going to have dual stocks on the inner halo. And on the outer halo, we're going to have the new ones. We're going to have the new ones. So let's have a look. Let's go down here. Let's find some, let's find some passenger trains. And, uh, oh, well, let's go out. Well, if you go, go to the outer halo, you idiot. So let's grab one of those. That's the count. That's the count. Uh, that's the clockwise, and here's the anti-clockwise. Hooray! So let's have some of these puppies replace. Now here we've got uh, we're using two dual stocks. So 25% replace. Uh, all right, set vehicle. Now, all right down to the bottom. Oh, these are freaky. Uh, you know what? Just before I do that. Just before I do that, I want to see what they look like if I change the colour. Because the thing is, they're they're red to start with. Um, let's just find one that we can see. Okay, so if we were to change the colour on this, let's see what it would look like. So, mm hmm. What would we want to go like? I don't know. Like what? Like well, if we made it like if we made it blue. That's me. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. That's better. That's quite a mighty. See, the blue's my favourite. I like I like everything in blue. Um, dark red. No, not really. Orange. Oh God, that's horrible. Horrible. Oh, lime green. I don't think so. What about? Yeah, that's kind of you know, maybe bearable. How are they looking yellow? Ooh. Lamborghini yellow, beautiful. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Pink. Pink just doesn't work for trains, does it? Let's face it, it just doesn't work for trains. Uh, no. Yeah, it's too bright. Grey's boring. Brown, God, no. Brown trains, yeah. Now, you know, like, the best is that. But... Do I want, I, you know, I, I, might have, I might have blue ones. I might have blue ones. Let's see, so what do I want? Um, set vehicle. This is the, yeah. I'm gonna make them blue. What the hell, it's my freaking train set. I'm gonna have blue ones. So I want uh, one of those and another one. Right, 25% yes. And then on the, now I could have them like a different color on the other line, but I'm not going to. Because that would be silly, because they don't do that in the real world. Yeah, replace. Get rid of you, get rid of you, and get rid of you as well. Set vehicle all the way down to the bottom. And uh, now did I, that is the, I did choose, oh, did I choose that one? I don't think I did, did I? <laughs> I don't think I did. And, no I didn't. And good job I spotted that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, and I didn't change the color. But see, this is, you know what? I'm gonna go with these white ones. I'm gonna stay with that color. Yeah, I'm going to stay with that colour. Uh, start a flirt. Uh, that. Add. Add. There we go. Now, the length of that is 215. We could go up to um, three trains, which is 322. Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we go up to? Should we go up to three? We could probably just about afford to with the amount of passengers we've got waiting. You know what, we'll, we'll go with three. We'll go with three, so replace it 25%. Yes, replace it 25%, yes. I think that'll probably please some of you. No, I'm gonna go with uh, with three of these units. All right, so, um, well, let's do it then. Uh, I don't know, where's where's a, where's an appropriate train? So, where the hell are we? That's Maisley. Let's go over, let's go over here where I can actually find one of these babies. Stop lagging, stop lagging, damn you. Right, uh, we want to go, we want to follow a train like this. Um, let's grab that, I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna run up the track a little bit and see if there's one that's closer to the station. That's coming out of us, we want to go that way. No, we're riding with this one, so here we go. So here we are on our nice, rather quiet, Dual stocks. 
another one passes us by on our little bridge. That, that needs to change. That doesn't work for me. Look at the state of this train. God, we definitely need a nice new clean train, don't we? Now, we want to be around this side, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be spoilt for choice with the thumbnails. Okay, he's got to let the passengers off first. And then it changes. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Now, is that stuck with the... The colour that I gave it for the other trains. Yeah, it's stuck with that. No, I want it to be, want it to be that colour. Don't tell me I've got to go around and change each individual one now. Uh, yeah. I suppose I could quickly try and change the line before any more of them update. Uh, let's see. Uh, replacement. Oh, yeah, I'd have to change. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to take the three off, wouldn't I? Come on. And then do set vehicle. There was, well, I, don't think there, I don't think there was a colour. Okay, well, I could be wrong. Whatever. Uh, go down to the bottom and we'll put these three on again. So, add that. Add, add, add. 25% yes done that was uh, which one was that that was the clockwise we want an, uh, an anti-clockwise train and change it on there as well there we go there we go and replacement get rid of that set vehicle oh man all the way to the bottom again and start the flirt one two three 25% yes go done Alrighty, cool. So we might have a couple of blue ones running around, but mo mainly they're going to be this kind of colour. Um, should we have a should we have a bit of a ride on this? I think we should, shouldn't we? Because that's what the game's about. Look at that! That is one nice freaking train. You guys have been telling me to put Stat the Flirt to for ages. Look at that city down there. Uh, Oh my god. These views. They really are awesome. Oh, <laughs> I love those grades. Should have done it ages. The reason I didn't, the reason I didn't use Statler Flirts ages ago is because they're not actually properly balanced, I, uh, as far as I know, unless they've changed since the first time I looked at them. Um, like the cost and the passengers and the speed and all the rest of it weren't properly balanced. That's why I didn't use them. But... Does it really matter? No, not really. I've got 25 billion in the bank. I mean, it, 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 really, at this point, it's not about playing the game as like a challenge. It is just about dressing it up. God, the inside of this station is nice. I want to see one of these swanky trains in here. Oh, look at that. My God. Oh, come back a bit. Come back a bit, thank you. That's that is actually very, very cool indeed. I just took a quick screenshot of that. I've got so I've got several thumbnails to choose from now, and there's the TGV, hooray! <clears throat> and there are some uh, there are some other models that I've been looking at to uh, give us. I don't know, maybe some variation or maybe to replace these. I don't know. And I, I must admit, I would like to put some more TGV trains in, but like, how the hell we do it? I have absolutely no idea. Well, I tell you what, guys, I was planning to do a bit of uh, a bit of sky candy on this, but because of the time we spent over there, we've kind of run out of time. Um, so I think we'll leave it there. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, I, I just I want to see more stat flirts. Um, let's go. Let's go dogging. Let's go dogging. Uh, and you know what, let's turn off the signals. Let's turn off the factories as well. 
let's go over to, I don't know, where, where is a cool place to kind of watch the trains go by? I was thinking maybe, maybe, oh, Maisley. Oh. oh, this is the perfect place because here we see, we see all the trains. We see the, uh, the red trains, the expresses on the, uh, on the mini halo. But we'll also see, well, gotta hope, we'll see some of the new ones on the, uh, oh no, but this is the inner halo. Ah, we'd have to go over here. This is the outer halo over here. Where are you? You're hiding in the tunnel. Stop hiding in the tunnels. And now we've got an auto save for the end of the year. Oh, come on. I want to see a few of these before we go. Man. Ma. Pause. Will you, will you pause? It doesn't seem to want to pause. Oh, thank you. Finally. I wanted to see this coming under the, coming under the bridge. And angle this down. Yeah, that's about, that's about the best we're going to get. Let's have a, let's have a little ride. They are really, really nice, aren't they? Come on. You know you're going to leave me a comment and say, yeah, Sky, actually, they are really, really nice. And we've got a few blue ones and some red ones. The blue ones are special. Well, there you go. See, okay, I'm just going to pause it for a second. And this is the last thing we're going to do. This thing, but I just want to show you kind of the difference. You look at that and you see this kind of bare stuff and it's like, nee, that's yeah, it's not particularly nice. But you throw a few trees in and quick uh, broad leaves you, you, you throw a few trees around the place yeah, a couple over there and and that was nice that I got those together and pop a row of those if they'll keep yeah keep coming keep coming keep coming these are the right trees yeah, and a little one uh, let's pop that over there, and then we'll switch to a few little bushes, just to give us the, the terrain change. The texture change was the word I was looking for. Um, just a bit of scrappy rough ground. Um, definitely over there, there we go. This kind of thing, and then I don't know. Maybe maybe we do. Maybe do a bit of a, a bit of a wood on this side. Kind of, want a dense little wood over this side, as it goes into the tunnel. Something 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 like that. And then suddenly, you know, suddenly this looks like a real town, and you know, it's, it's getting rid of some of that bare stuff. And then like here. You know, that's, that terrain has got to be smoothed off. I didn't see, I, I said it was going to be the last thing. Yeah, and of course it wasn't. So, need to smooth that off along there. We've got a little bit here that needs to be smoothed. But, yeah. And, and you see where the time goes. Cool. And then, instead of just going into a boring tunnel you know when you have the woods on top but again it's it's not just a case of throwing some trees on the top um, because again it, it it doesn't look right when it's just like that we need to put a few a few smaller bushes and things around the edges and get that slight terrain uh, texture change yeah maybe Clump in there. There we go. And how are we looking now? See? What do you think? That's the difference. And this is why, because I want to do rides around the, uh, the the mega halos when when this is all done. And this is what I want. I want every little bit of track to be dressed up properly like this. That's um, that's the idea. That's what I'm trying to get to. So let's disappear into the tunnel with train 33, well, eventually. Oh, here we go, come on. 
in your own time. Off we go. Tunnel action. And I don't know how long this tunnel is. I don't think it's that long, is it? Well, it's got signals in it, so it's a, it's a fair distance. Oh, but we've got one coming the other way in the tunnel. I haven't seen this before. Oh, it was worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. And there's three of them. I wonder what I wonder what capacity that gives us on the line. Yeah, I said this was going to be the last thing we were going to do in the video. No, apparently it wasn't. Because now, because we haven't looked at it for a while. Um, let's have a quick look at some stats. Very quick. Let's have a look at uh, the towns. Who's got the biggest population? It is Bickety's Hollow. 8,900. We're, we're approaching our first 10,000 population town. Uh, shopping facilities is the biggest. Oh, almost. Winniston's almost 10,000. Jobs? 8, 9. Right, so that's the towns. If you want to look at them, you can pause the video. Um, factory production. Let's have a look. Oh, loads of 1600s now. All maxed out. Blah, 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 blah. And what else? What else? What else? Uh, what else was I going to look at? I was going to look at something else and I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at profitability, wasn't I? Yeah. 22.2 billion. And that's after spending how much on replacements? We spent um, 5 billion. Oh, my God. We spent 5 billion on new vehicles. Holy! Okay, that's quite a lot. I wasn't expecting that. We got we, well, we got over half a billion back from uh, from the ones we sold, but that's still four and a half billion on new vehicles. I, was, I thought I was, I was looking at this. I thought we had twenty five billion, didn't we? So um, yeah, there you go. Um, what are we making now? Eight. I mean, we're making almost a billion a year. Yeah, it's, it's kind of insanely crazy how much money we're making. There we go. You know what, guys? We will leave it there. Um, I'm going to go back down to... Well, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go down to... Yeah, I'm going to go to Ice Cream Town. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go to the nice airport. And we're going to have a nice look at that. And watch the trains go by. As I say, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got ideas, if you've got um, particular models on the Steam Workshop that you want me to use, then uh, drop me a link. Uh, any other mods, um, in fact, anything that you want me to do, say, think, use, drop me a comment, and I will catch you for the next one. I just want to see that. I'm, I'm stalling because I want to see these trains go by. Oh, well, peace out. <laughs>